morning, Allie. Good morning. I'm teaching a geometry freshman level class, and the unit we're working on is surface area and volume. Good news is you have a job. This week for our geometry pace assessment, the problem was that our town was needing to build a new water tower, and so we were the people to design the water tower and make sure that it could hold enough water while also being cost efficient. I knew right away there's different shapes. They have the same volumes, a sphere as always, has the least amount of surface area, and that's what we were looking for. They're presented with a problem and asked to fix it. And when you ask someone to fix something, they instantly become engaged with, well, how do I do that? What are the requirements? What do I need to work with? This is definitely a better way to prove that the students understand the work. It's totally organic. You know, you have to come up with all the material yourself. You can't just guess at this. With this PACE initiative comes the higher level thinking and the 21st century skills that we hope will carry over to other parts of the curriculum. I have a pile of rubrics. Today we are working in a group of geometry teachers here at the high school to come to a consensus on the scoring. Surface area is wrong. However, I was pretty proud of the student for calculating the slant Tyler, how would you handle this with a student for a grade? This is competent. This is where we talk about our craft. This is where we talk about what we're doing well, some changes that we need to make. Collaboration is at the forefront now. Every year, teachers from across the state get together and develop the next year's performance assessment. One big idea is circles. So then we would break down that there's lengths, there's theorems. Developing those tasks together has been an extreme creative process, and so it's really invigorated me as a teacher in my classroom, and I think that my colleagues across the districts would say the same thing. To hear about what's happening in other schools and to actually see student work and see what other students in other districts have come up with, it's very eye-opening. We just came back from a national conference, and what was really striking to us, it was all about New Hampshire. People wanted to sit down and talk with us about what we were doing. It's become a national thinking model. I mean, it really has created a think tank in our country. 